Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Democracy 4 as Canada! We are nearing the end of our first term over here, and it looks so far like it has been a huge success. We don't know if we'll get reelected yet, but our popularity is pretty good. Let's do some electioneering to try to uh, work the numbers a little bit. We got our fundraising over here, Brussels Sprout Party. Seems to be doing okay. Looks like most of our members have given them money. Be nice to get a few more members. The Equality Party, definitely. Well, actually, both the parties seem to be outdoing us in membership and funding. So fingers crossed over there. Um, active boost of voter turnout, looking pretty nice. Looks like our voters are pretty into us. Let's see if we can boost our perceptions. Compassion's um, to the max. Let's see if we can make ourselves more trustworthy somehow. What are our highest percentages? Oh, we got an 80 over here. Pure and televised genealogy program. Let's try it. Excellent. Good. Now let's do some strong leadership boost. 65%. All right. We got a couple of 65%. So that's the best we can do. Let's try judo with special forces. Oh, it worked. All right. Would have sucked if it backfired. I don't know if I'll push my luck any more than that. It did use a lot of our political power, political capital to do that as well. Perhaps I'll just advance for now, and we'll figure out what kind of changes we might make in life. Oh, I got an achievement unlocked. Spotlight Junkie. Hang on. I got to tab out the Steam and see what that means. Unbelievably, you need to actually make some time this week to govern the country. I know it sounds like an awful bore and distraction from the constant appearance of the media, but I'm afraid it's part of the job. We only did two appearances, didn't we? I don't know. Respiratory disease has been eliminated. Congratulations, everyone. We've eliminated COVID or maybe pollution-related asthma or something like that. That's that's big, big, big news. That was actually hurting us a lot with the parents who weren't happy about things. One of my cabinet's members is displeased. Unpopular core, liberals and wealthy people. Felt the danger the minister wants to spend more time with their family in your future. Yeah, resignations do hurt. Suggests that we run health tax credits. Well, I don't know if we're gonna do that. Illegal immigration amnesty. Everyone knows that how that everyone knows we have illegal immigrants in our country. A proposal been put that we should offer existing immigrants an amnesty and welcome them as proper citizens who can work and pay taxes like everyone else. That sounds like a great idea. We could actually use a bit of a boost to a few things. I think it's going to be good. The Patriots don't like it. We have more ethnic minorities all of a sudden and more illegal immigration. Liberalism is increased and liberals are increased or liberal happiness is increased. Hey, there you go. Achievement progress. That's our first achievement of the run. Public services. Yeah, he's pretty cranky. 0.5. Because the liberals... I mean, the liberals don't hate us. They're not, like, huge, necessarily, fans. But they're, overall, they're kind of okay. The wealthy are pretty displeased, so it makes sense that Ryan Baker here is pretty cranky. Maybe we'll ignore him until the election. And then we can do a cabinet shuffle afterwards, perhaps. Because I don't think we want to run... Um, tax credits... Healthcare vouchers, that's what he was looking for. Um, so the idea with this, how come it's not giving me the, whoa, visual bug? What is happening here? There we go, all right, good. Mm, that was really weird. A measure designed to encourage the growth of private healthcare. So this is the idea, right? The government is giving um, citizens healthcare vouchers to cover their healthcare at private healthcare places, right? So uh, this is a different way of running the healthcare where we don't have public health there. We don't have government run or government funded healthcare. It's worth noting in Canada, um, at least in Ontario, I don't, it, 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 healthcare is handled province by province. So there can be a little bit of variation. Uh, I think this is similar in most, if not all provinces, but speaking from Ontario, what I can tell you is there are no government like health care thing like hospitals or doctor's offices or things like that as far as i know in ontario all healthcare is handled by private companies but it is a single payer system where they see they solely bill the government for things and the government can set all sorts of guidelines and you know um for uh health standards and um you know, pricing guidelines and, and things like that. Uh, so it is this mix of a public and private kind of system. Uh, with healthcare vouchers, the difference would be that it is basically a fully private system, but with the government uh, giving individuals these vouchers that then they can use to pay uh, for the private healthcare system. So the, so capitalists and, well, it doesn't boost wealthy, which is interesting, because I believe it was suggesting that we use this. Maybe I must be getting wrong. It must not have been healthcare vouchers that the game, it was suggesting. Can I get back to the news article somehow? Um, there is a way. 
health tax credits. Oh, yeah, over here. Not, so sorry, not vouchers, but tax credits. System of tax reduction and credits designed to encourage people to spend their money on private healthcare in order to reduce their tax liability. This boosts healthcare without involving the state running hospitals. Okay, so a little bit similar. Instead of giving people vouchers that they can use to pay for their health services, instead you can more easily or more completely deduct it from your taxes uh, from private healthcare things. So yeah, the wealthy like it, capitalists like it because it's, you know, boosting private health services. And, um, I can see why, you know, that particular minister might be into it. I don't think we're gonna do it, because first of all, it's quite expensive. And yeah, boost private healthcare uh, in a, at a cost to public healthcare. And that's not what we're looking for. So what do I wanna do over here? The empty homes tax is interesting. It's not popular, but it is quite interesting. Wouldn't raise much in the way of money either. Uh, I don't think that's what we're looking for. I mean, right now, I don't think we wanna do anything too crazy because we seem to be in a fairly decent, stable shape. Let's take a look. Deficit grew a little, um, but our expenses still uh, haven't been ballooning, right? We, we hit about 80 billion that one time, uh, but since then it's been constrained. It's mostly the income side of it. Uh, despite our tax increases, I mean, our GDP is not as good as it was before, although it is bouncing back up, which is nice. Uncompetitive economy, it would have been really nice to get rid of that. Environmental protests are nearly done which is good because it is holding back our GDP slightly um, and increasing traffic congestion because they're blocking intersections. It is, it is also increasing the environmentalist membership, which we don't mind because environmentalists do love us. Like we would kind of like pro environmentalist campaigns. Obesity is going to be basically over for the election. I don't know if we'll get proper credit for it, but uh, fingers crossed there. Yeah, I really don't want anything. To, I don't want to do anything that will increase our costs. Could cut back on military spending some more, but I'm worried about that might open up some things. Maybe we'll just look for fairly innocuous policies that don't cost too much. Oh, why is it? Why is it doing this? I don't know. That's really weird. Uh, citizenship for sale. Hit <laughs> more corruption, boost our GDP. I don't think I want to do anything that increases our corruption. Import tariffs, no. Don't want to do anything that hurts trade. That's no good. Fusion does sound like fun, but we don't have the money for it right now. Um, ban second home ownership. But we also don't want to do anything that's too unpopular. This is interesting. So yeah, people on unemployment are forced to, to work to get their unemployment fee. Uh, it's not very compassionate, although maybe have, we have some compassion to spare. I don't know. State housing. Yeah, can be expensive. Synthetic meat. Well, that's, that's not terrible. Actually. You know, get some Franken meats going on. It pleases the environmentalists because it's about looking for meat alternatives, really. Increases plant-based diets. Farmers aren't keen on it because I guess it competes with them because it's stuff grown in the lab instead. Helps to bring down food prices. It does cost. It doesn't cost an obscene amount. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to do welfare fraud. Just a jerk move. It doesn't really bring that much and mostly just harasses people. I mean, everyone likes this and it basically costs nothing. As long as our self-employed people are happy. Um, right now, they're not too pleased with me, so I don't know if I want more of them. I mean, this will make them happy, but CEO pay cap, carbon capture and storage. It's too expensive, I think, this too. Consumer rights. Liberals do like it. We do have a lot of liberals. Hurts GDP a little bit. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to crank it up. Mostly just makes liberals happy, but we do have a lot of liberals and they're not thrilled with me. So it wouldn't be terrible. Organic farming subsidies, that's pretty cheap. Oh, oh, I gotta open that a second time for that to work. That's so weird. Organic farming subsidy, okay, not as cheap as I thought. Helps to combat obesity, brings down food prices. Farmers health go up. You know, honestly, I don't hate this. Let's do it as our final environmentalist hippy dippy act. Oh, that was exactly our political capital. So I guess we're done. Let's see what the election has in store for us. Manifesto. Oh yeah, I can make pledges. Oh, I can't because I don't have any points. Right. Well, I guess it's gonna have to be what it's gonna have to be as is. Okay. How are we doing? Start the count. Stop the count. Oh, looks like we're gonna win in a landslide. And it makes sense, people are really happy with us. We didn't spend the most. 
So the Dominion Party, they had 100% of their turnout for the people who are in favor of this, but there just aren't that many of them. We actually had 85% turnout, which is pretty sick. Only 14% in the country did not vote. Now, I don't know what the election turnout is typically in Canada, but I would not suspect it's this high. I mean, I don't know if voter apathy is quite as bad as some other places, but we don't have compulsory voting or anything like that, so, you know, it's not... I, I, I would be very surprised if it was this high of a turnout. All right. Ask a favor. Leave a Steam review. Well, let me get back to you after this. Post-election shuffle. Well, I think we are definitely going to shuffle Ryan Baker over here. The others are really happy with us. But yeah, we can we can do a reshuffle without spending political capital right now. Well, you know what? Um, Olivia White over here is not super thrilled. He's only 1.4. The others are in really good shape. So let's see what we can do. Let's start with public services. And yeah, we want someone who's fairly loyal. So the capitalists are going to hate us. The parents like us. On the other hand, this guy here, he wants public services, motorists, and retired. That should actually work pretty well for us. So let's get Jacob Baker over here. And then for Ferengi policy. Ooh. First person who actually wants the job is way down here. And she's not too keen on us. Capitalists and parents, conservative and parents, conservatives, motorists, and capitalists. Well, I guess we'll grab Teresa Lewis over here. Although I'm not sure how loyal she'll stay. But... Gender neutral restrooms. Require, make no change. Honestly, like, a gender neutral restroom is just the restroom at your house. It's like, it's fine. I mean, require seems maybe a little like, um, um, like getting involved in the minutia of day to day operations that might not really be within the scope of the federal government. Like, it might seem a little overreachy. And it's like, it doesn't seem like a poor thing. Oh, BC's gone away! Hooray! Cynical voters. So, changes to the policy, organic farming subsidies. So close to the election, it made some of your voters cynical about your party. Well, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! But I wanted to run. I guess I should have waited until after the election. Maybe I should have done nothing. I could have run more manifestos instead. Ah, stupid voters. Hate you so much. Deficit is $3 billion. I mean, that's probably the next thing I would really want to tackle a little bit more. Which is hard, though, because there's not a lot of spending I want to cut back on, um, is the issue. Although, okay, if computer crime isn't as being as much of an issue, we could pull back... Well, wiretapping is not very expensive. Um, I was actually thinking of our intelligence services. We could pull back on this a wee bit. You know, and save a few bucks. Maybe spend like five political capital, bring it down from here. It's only saving a hundred million, which, you know, it's only a hundred million dollars, you guys. I think I want to do this. I don't want to spend any more political capital than this. And I don't want to bring this too low because I'm a little bit worried about cyber crime and other threats and things like that. But it's going to be okay. What is this? Oh, right to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Don't mind that. I don't know if I want to increase it. Although, after an election, I've got some time. I could increase our income tax. This would definitely help raise a lot more money. You know what? It's time. Let's raise income tax. It's going to be okay. Right after we get elected. And the people like the people who voted for me are going to be like, I'm sorry, you did what now? And it's like, no, no, it's okay. It's all fine. It's, all, it's, it's definitely what we want. Um, I could bring down farming subsidies if I wanted to save a few bucks. You know, again, maybe try to minimize how much political capital I'm actually spending. But just scooch down a little bit. There we go. Now, we don't have a lot of political capital left. I'm just curious what it'll do for our economy. We're not going to run another full term here. Policy reversal. Over time. Trustworthy. Wait, what? Voters have noticed your reversal position regarding intelligence services. This affected their perception of trustworthiness. I did flip-flop. Yeah, but we didn't... It was only for a little while that we needed it. Voters are stupid. Yeah, see, I was a little concerned about this. If you increase taxes, you start to get into tax evasion problems, which are really annoying. Because now, all of a sudden, we're getting less money. Crime is going up. Um, and if we want to eliminate it, we have to drop taxes a bunch. I kind of knew this was a possibility when I increased taxes, but I kind of wanted to showcase that this was a thing that could happen. Um, this could be something where we can implement, you know, some of, like, uh, I think public tax returns can help to eliminate it. I'm not sure about that. Um, uh, 
I don't remember if we can, like, throw more funding in to the CRA. Uh, ca sorry, Canada Revenue Industry. Like the IRS. Uh, I don't... Is that something that we could run? Would have thought... I mean, it might be economy. At a glance, I'm not seeing it. I would have thought under tax. I'm not seeing it. Doesn't mean it's not here. Because this is, this is good for anti-corruption. I'm not sure... Oh, it does reduce tax evasion. So it only shows you the normal effects over here, but it does contribute tax evasion stuff. You know what? Let's max this out. Costs us nothing. I'm going to skip to the next turn. I'm curious to see what kind of impact that has. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. Healthy living. Nice. Hackers breach critical systems. Arrest them. Hire them. No, man. Let's hire them. Ooh, boost technology. Hello. Environmental protests have ceased. Situation imminent, corporate exodus. Yeah, so this is mostly due to corporate tax. I think what we're going to do is bring that down. Healthy living! You feel good? Me too! Healthy lifestyle, government obsession with the health of its citizens. Lovely. I'm going to cut back on corporate um, taxes. Which are this one? This one. Which will help to cut back on some of the tax evasion as well. Um, I'll bring it down to here. And we still have a deficit, but I'm hoping that with our public uh, returns, this is still contributing over here, slightly reduce corporate tax. That might go down. We also really want to avoid the brain drain, which is a huge, huge problem. Um, yeah, big, big issue. Uh, what do I want to see here? Oh, egalitarian society. We have an egalitarian society. Look at that. Crime goes down. Everyone is happy. We are so awesome. Yeah, this is mostly contributed by the corporation tax, which you would bring down. High stability and high productivity will probably help to combat corporate exodus. I mean, it's not quite there yet. Okay, well, hopefully we can keep improving our productivity. Um, what I'm wondering about, since I'm only going to be going until the end of the episode anyway, let's crank the hell out of our science funding. So that was stem cell science funding. I'm going to crank the hell out of this. Uh, budget be damned. So high technology, high energy efficiency, boosted GDP, lots more state employees, or more state employees and happier state employees, and reduced unemployment. Let's do this. What else are we going to do? Let's uh, crank up our secular thing. We're going to really, like, come out of the gate swinging with a crazy new agenda. And people are going to be like, wait, what? what is going on here? Bum, 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 bum. Ban tobacco. Well, I mean, we, we at least, I don't think we have to go more authoritarian on there because we've dealt with those. It'd be great to get rid of this uncompetitive economy. Got a couple of cranky people. Um, border controls, diplomatic services. No, that's really important. Foreign aid doesn't cost that much and does boost a few things, but refugee, no checks. You know what? I'm going to run this and see if this triggers an event, because I'm curious to learn right now, since I, I consider this a win so far. Controversial mat march. Um, extreme right wing. How extreme are we talking about? Strong racist tendencies. Convinced march goes ahead, there'll be violent confrontation between the marchers. I, this is always a really hard... Um, decision to make in real life and everything too, right? With all kinds of different groups. You know, how, where is the line between um, free speech and something that is like objectively dangerous, right? Where is the line? And everyone sort of agrees there is a line somewhere, but where is it? And especially when it, in regards to like government and public policy. It's really hard to decide. I'm just going to flip a coin. I'm going to go with ban the march here. I'm going to see what it does. Yeah, pisses off the liberals because we're banning a political march. Makes us look like a strong leader. Okay, sure. You had a policy reversal. <laughs> We've had a few policy flip-flops, as you can see over here. Mm-hmm. And situation, multinational tax evasion. <whistles> wow. Wow. I have a lot of issues with that. Well, again, the corporate tax did get dropped a little bit. We can even cancel our corporation tax completely. Um, that will definitely raise the deficit because this is one of our ways of raising money. We'll let it run and see what happens because right now things are looking pretty poor. I mean, we did just increase our spending a lot with our science thing, um, which, okay, that's dipping down quickly because productivity is on the rise, which is nice. 
and again one of the things should be technology which is definitely going up love to see that really like to see it hackers breaching critical systems did give us a technology boost though let's see ban low mile per gallon cars you know what i'm gonna do it yeah let's get rid of those doesn't cost us anything. We're just going to go cray cray with policies as long as they are cheap. Here, carpooling campaign. Let's do that. All right. Let's see what happens next month as we potentially start destroying our nation. Park Ranger was killed. Ooh, environmentalists go down. There you go. We have the corporate exodus on the go. And an injury. Oh, endangered species. This, this looks bad, right? Because something started here. But no, it's their highly publicized population of endangered species native to our country, attracts naturalists and tourists. And it's mostly because I think we have a half decent environment and game hunting restrictions. So these species can exist. Like if it, it sounds, wait, we have endangered species, but no, it's, we have endangered species as opposed to extinct species is basically where we're at. Quite good for tourism, and the stop trigger is quite low, so we don't really have to worry about fluctuations bringing this down and losing it. So we're gonna get a little bit more money, a little bit more income. GDP is dropping like freaking mad, though. Hmm, I wonder why. Tell you what, let's do something absolutely insane. Let's just cancel corporate tax and see what happens. <laughs> well, we're not gonna have as much money, but on the other hand, yeah, so credit rating downgrade. This is very poor. This is very poor. We talked about it in a previous video. Well, um, this problem here is when your your debt to sort of like deficit ratio starts to look really bad. All of a sudden, the banks don't want to lend the country money anymore the same way. Um, and therefore, and this is a huge problem, your the interest cost goes up. So your financial situation just gets worse and worse and worse. Well, the tax evasion is going to go away pretty soon. And we're not going to get the, the multinational exodus should also theoretically drop pretty quick. You know, fingers crossed. I mean, we have no corporate tax, although maybe it takes a while for that to reverse. Uncompetitive economy is going to go away soon, though. We have a really competitive economy right now because we don't um, we don't charge corporations tax. Here, let's... Uh, well, let's wait. Hold on. Let's wait until the tax evasion goes away, and then we'll crank up income tax as a, uh, as a way to balance that out. But you know what? Hold on. We could pair it up with this. No, we, we could just... Much more money. Oh, there's no money. The cor corporate tax. Wait, how come? I wonder if this is linked to because there's no income predicted. Is it because there's no corporate taxes? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Let's let's enact some more random policies. I mean, everything we're doing right now is pretty random. Green electronics, there we go. That's not very expensive. Done, okay, I'm just gonna hit play. We'll see what happens next time. Public land question, we will... Well, it's forcing landowners to make the land accessible to ramblers. Yeah, yeah, we'll support that law. Tell you what, we'll do that. And situation imminent, multinational tax evasion. There we go, dip down a little. That's good. We still have corporate exodus, but that's going down. Excellent. We still have tax evasion, but that's going down. You see, like, how long we have to wait for this to go away. Oh, uncompetitive economy almost disappeared, but not quite. Dang it. Ah, should we just like trash work safety laws? Who needs work safety laws? Let's get rid of that. Excellent. Uh, what else can we do to get rid of our uncompetitive economy? Um, here, well, uh, oh, I can't actually change that directly. <laughs> we can eliminate maternity leave. Um, we could do something to tweak alcohol consumption. Let's, uh, here, we'll tax alcohol more. And at the same time, 16. Here, we'll make it, uh, I mean, we can't, we can't, we can't change it so people can only drink American beer. That would be terrible. Here, but we'll set the, uh, the age to 21. We're just, again, we're kind of actively ruining our country at this point. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait, I got another achievement. United Nations Secretary General, one of our prominent diplomats has been appointed Secretary General of the United Nations. Spokesperson, leader of the most powerful global organization. Patriots like it, everyone likes it, foreign relations goes up. 
gig economy is imminent. Well, that's a really small thing. Yeah, potentially bad situation, gig economy. Because of mostly unemployment, but high technology. Okay. Health is maxed the fuck out. We could actually cut back on some of our things here. But there you go. The United Nations. Congratulations, us. I guess that's because we look good on the world stage. Tax evasion's nearly gone. Corporate exodus is nearly gone. Uncompetitive economy, actually not improving. Here, I'm just going to hit next here. because I have to put a cut, but I want to see where this goes. Uh, yeah, let's sign a trade agreement. That sounds like a good idea. Um, okay, maybe that's not as good as I was hoping. Actually, our deficit is shrinking, which is surprising me. Let's hit play. Let's go and see what the next one is. Corporate exodus has gone away. Good. Credit rating is upgraded. That's good. Deficit dropped a little bit. Oh, I was hoping that would be gone by now. I think some things are still trickling in. Here, I'll uh, I'll pull back on the income tax slightly, just to make sure that goes away. Oh, policy reversal. Mm-hmm. Gig economy is now taken off. Yep, too much unemployment. We could uh, we could lower unemployment by forcing people to work. Competitive economy is actually getting worse again. Dang it. And tax evasion did not go away. Tell you what, let's just get rid of income tax. No one likes income tax, right? There you go. Demand from a donor. Uh, you want me to implement a implement policy for driverless car laws? Oh. Yeah, man, let's let driverless cars go everywhere. I didn't even see that as a policy. That's cool. Credit rating downgraded again. Not really surprised. Skill shortages happening. Do we not have enough education going on? It's kind of surprising. Also, what taxes are there to evade? I was going to say. I was going to say. There you go. Tax evasion goes away. You, you can allow a merger. Sure, why not? There we are. Our deficit's only 52 billion now. Mm, that's real bad. I remember when I was happy and we're sitting around like one or two or three billion. I was like, I mean, it sort of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. 50 billion might be pretty bad. Good news, everyone, we ruined the country in the last part of the game. But really, I mean, semi, you know, just derping around here. We actually did achieve the goals. We, we went through a full term. We fixed um, the environment and the health. Our people were happy. Uh, I think I think if I wasn't just derping around in the last episode, I, I think we would have been able to maintain a decent economy uh, without doing anything too crazy. But uh, there are a lot of interconnected systems, and it's very easy to fix one thing and have it completely shatter something else, which is part of the fun of democracy. That is the end of our run. Thanks a lot for everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.